The Pilatus PC24 features a full performance FMS. After entering a few pieces of information, the system can provide accurate fuel and time predictions along with aircraft weight calculations. Entry of this information is made in the pre-flight phase of flight window on the altitude and speed and fuel and weight tabs. Even if you depart with just an origin and destination, you can still take advantage of the full performance capability by entering information later. Two different performance modes can be selected. They determine how the performance data is calculated. The Pilot Speed Fuel Flow mode uses pilot entered cruise airspeed and fuel flow to make time and fuel predictions for the flight. The Current Ground Speed Fuel Flow mode uses the current ground speed and fuel flow to perform predictions over the entire flight. Entered and sensed winds, once airborne, are included in the performance calculations. After activating the flight plan, the cursor automatically jumps to the Altitude and Speed tab. The Altitude and Speed tab is used to enter the planned cruise speed, fuel flow, and initial cruise altitude. If current ground speed fuel flow mode is selected, only cruise altitude needs to be entered. Default values from the aircraft database are shown in the data fields but can be changed. The cruise speed used by the FMS for performance calculations is shown as indicated airspeed or Mach number. Enter the planned cruise speed in Mach or knots. Changing the Mach field does not change the knots and vice versa. Once the speed is entered, the cursor automatically moves to the cruise fuel flow window. Enter the expected cruise fuel flow. Entry of the fuel flow is necessary for performance calculations to be computed. The cursor automatically moves to the initial cruise altitude window. This entry enables the FMS to determine where the cruise phase of flight begins. Enter the expected cruise altitude in feet or flight level. Push Enter after entering the cruise altitude and the cursor will jump to the Fuel and Weight tab. The Fuel and Weight tab is used to enter the passenger and cargo weight as well as the fuel weight. The aircraft basic operating weight is retained in memory and should be verified before each flight. The fuel on board is sensed by the fuel quantity system. The fuel quantity can also be manually inserted by clicking on the fuel field and entering a value. Enter the number of passengers and verify the average weight. Passengers include everyone except the pilot. A co-pilot is considered a passenger for performance calculation purposes. The average weight can be changed if necessary. In the cargo field, enter the cargo weight even if the cargo weight is zero. White boxes should not be confused with zeros and indicate a required entry. Enter the cargo weight and push Enter. The cursor will jump to the Compute button. After a momentary pause, the Compute button will become active. The gross weight and estimated time and route will be shown based on the entered performance data. Push Enter to compute the performance data. Calculated performance data is displayed on the Active Flight Plan window next to each active waypoint. This includes the estimated time and route to the next waypoint. Once altitude, speed, and weights are entered for the flight, calculated performance data is displayed on the Active Flight Plan window next to each active waypoint. This includes the estimated time and route to the next waypoint. For more accurate fuel and time predictions, en route winds and temperatures can manually be entered. The en route winds and temperatures can also be automatically entered when loading a flight plan from an SD card or the GoDirect Flight Bag Pro app. To enter en route winds and temperatures, click on the cross drop down menu and select Wind Temp ISA. En route winds and temperatures can be entered for specific altitudes for one or more waypoints in the flight plan. Select a waypoint. 
the planned altitude at that waypoint will be shown. Enter the wind direction, speed, and temperature for the waypoint. The ISA deviation is automatically calculated. Click on Apply, then Activate. The system will calculate a new estimated time and route and fuel burn based on the new winds. The system can also calculate an estimated time of arrival when an estimated time of departure is entered. To enter an estimated time of departure, click on the drop-down menu in the waypoint list and select Cross. Scroll up to the departure airport, click on the ETD field and enter the estimated time of departure in Zulu. Once an ETD is entered, the system will calculate an ETA for all the waypoints in the flight plan, including the destination and the alternate airport. Entering the ETD is necessary to check the predicted RAIM if planning to fly an RNAV GPS approach at the destination.